You, look at me. Don't do it. Do not install Apple's new developer betas on your daily driver. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and I know we're all excited. We're all excited at all of Apple's new software updates, tons of new features coming to your iPhone, your Mac, your iPads, heck even HomePods, Apple TVs, everything else is getting these wonderful new updates full of bunches of new features and they'll be fully released this fall. But today Apple's releasing an initial developer beta where developers can test out these new features on their devices, as well as start coding applications to take advantage of these new features. And technically, anyone who wants to be part of the developer program can download these betas and run them on their own devices. You could do it right now if you wanted to. But I'm here to implore you to please do not, and just please be a little patient. Here's why and why this year is different than years past. So first, why is it a bad idea to install these developer betas on your actual devices? So, like I said, they're betas. And this is the very first beta that's coming out today, which means it's going to be especially wonky. It is going to be slow, buggy, murder your battery life, and that's only the good things that may happen. On the other hand, you're going to have even worse issues, like you could have data corruption, you could lose iCloud content, you could lose so much information because of corrupted files resulting from these developer betas. They are not ready for consumption, which is why Apple's not releasing them to everybody until this fall, like September. So like right now, these are going to be incredibly hard on your device. You're gonna have so many issues. And if you're using that device every single day, you're gonna get annoyed real quick. You try to open the camera and your phone reboots. You try to open your Photos app and your photos don't load. Um, messages don't send. Whatever the issues may be in this beta, you don't wanna to have to deal with it on the device that you're using day in and day out. I know what you're thinking. These are probably not gonna to happen to me, but they will. Like the best case scenario is you just have bad battery life and a slow phone, but your worst case scenario is so much more worse unless you take a lot of steps and devote a lot of time to making sure you are completely protected. It's just not worth it. Here at Apple Insider, multiple people on the team have experienced these things running the betas and you do not want it to be you when it happens. This year though, it's different. Apple is actually changing the way that developer betas are installed. So previously you could just install a profile on your device and then you'd be able to install the betas. Now it's tied to an iCloud account. So this iCloud account must be registered to a developer profile. You sign into that developer account and then you are allowed to create or download and install these betas on your devices. So it's even harder to get compared to just installing a simple profile. There's also a fee tied to a developer account. So you don't want to have to you know, pay for a paid developer account to get access to betas, to put it on your primary device just because you want to play with the features early and then you end up bricking your device, losing data, or just crushing your battery. None of these things are fun and things that you are going to want to put up with. So when can you install these things? Fortunately, Apple in recent years has introduced a public beta program. Head to beta.apple.com and you can sign up there. When the public beta of iOS 17 and the other updates are available, you'll be able to download them for yourself. This usually comes around the fourth or fifth beta, probably sometime in July. And at this point, you'll be able to install a public beta of these updates that's far more stable. There's still betas, so there's still risks, but it's a lot less of a risk than if you were installing the betas right now. So that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, I smile because I still know some of you are gonna do it. You're still gonna do it. You watch this video this long through and you're like, hmm, should I do it? And then you're like, yeah, yeah, I should do it anyway. Um, and for those of you that are doing that, you know, I applaud you. Do it up. That's what I'm gonna be doing, even if it's a bad idea, but someone's gotta make this content. So let me know what you guys think. Are you gonna be installing the betas? Do you like Apple's new features they announced? Let me know down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And stay tuned, I've got a lot more videos and hands-on with all of Apple's new software coming your way.